Well, hello once again. My name is Larry Young. I am with Young's VOS. You should be able to see that at the bottom of your screen down there. And we're going to be talking about displaying point groups today, how you can uh, manage to turn point groups on and off easily, change the way they look, etc., etc. And one of the little gotchas about it that you'll see in a few moments. So you're going to see on the screen here that we've got several different points, and uh, one of the easiest things you can do on a point like this, especially if you didn't bring the points in, right click and go to point group properties and you can see immediately what point group it belongs to in this case it's this point group right here called Arial and of course it shows you the point style and the point label style so we can get another one up here uh, a different one if you will like this one and we can do the same thing right click and go to point group properties see that that one is part of topo that one shows a different point style benchmark and it also shows point elevation and description instead of just the elevation like you see down on these other ones in the topo uh, sorry in the aerial point group okay so that's uh, one of the things that you'll see the difference in now I've got another uh, situation going on over here I've got four point groups instead of just the two that you see uh, all points obviously comes with uh, the the program itself and and every point that you bring into your project whether it's in topo or aerial or both or not in either one of them still go into this group called all points so if we right click on that and look at the properties we can see something completely different I've changed that so the point style is just basic that means just basically the red X that you would see I like down here on these two and no point labels that's so that if I wanted to turn on just the points so I can see where they're at but have no labels to get in the way so to speak then I can display them using the all points uh, point group and then there's one more called invisible and that one I created myself and I'm going to right click and go to properties and you'll see that I've turned off the point styles and the point label styles both turn them both to none uh, and what that does is it allows me to turn off all my points immediately or very quickly uh, without having to go out and freeze and thaw layers and all that stuff that you don't want to do in Civil 3D. So the only difference is in this particular case I've used up here on the filters the point group I've chosen is all points. So basically the points every point in my project that are in all points are also in the invisible point group. Now that's all fine and dandy but you're going okay what do I do? I mean you've got this point group called invisible how come they're not displaying as invisible? Well, that's very quickly uh, explained by right clicking on the word point groups and going to properties. You're going to see my four point groups. Now, this works very similar to the move to back or bring to front type of situation when you're dealing with AutoCAD or Civil 3D entities. You want to move a line or a hatch to the background or bring it to the foreground or whatever. So, what happens is it displays all these points as topo points. If they're in that group, that's the way they're going to display. And it's on a top-down hierarchy. So aerial points display next, then all points, and then invisible. So here's the deal. If I wanted to make all my points invisible, I simply move invisible up the ladder to the top. Now it's going to display all the points with that style called invisible. And by the time it gets down here to topo and aerial and all points, it's too late they're already displayed as invisible so that's how you turn them off very quickly now I'm gonna do this but then I'm gonna show you the gotcha when I hit OK you'll see all the points disappear whoops there's the gotcha here's the deal we have some points here again if we right click on them and go to point group properties we're gonna see that in fact they are in the invisible point group which shows none and none however if I do it this way and right click and go to just regular properties not point group properties but properties you're gonna see that these particular points are overridden by the style of tree and then point elevation and description now the reason this happened is because I have a description key set and when I brought my points in it was run through the description key set uh, filter so that any point that had a raw description of TR was automatically assigned a style of tree and a point label style of point number elevation description that's why they're not off this this settings right here these settings right here actually override the point group settings unless and here's how you fix that unless I go over here 
to oops sorry I needed I mean to close that if I go over here to my invisible point group and right click again and go back to properties there's a way to change that so that this point group takes precedence or, or overrides the individual point properties and that of course would be right here on the overrides tab and what I want to do is tell it that this point group is going to override the style and the point label style that's all I have to do turn those on to check check hit OK and as soon as I do that you'll see that now in fact everything in my drawing is now invisible all the points okay so that's the gotcha you can have individual points with properties that override point groups unless you distinctly tell the point group to override the points now I want to bring all my points back easy enough right click on point groups go back to properties move invisible all the way back down to the bottom hit OK all my points are going to come back now it takes a second for it to regen and think about the points etc but there they are okay let's go through a couple of scenarios quickly right click and go to properties I'm gonna move the all points now to the top you know that that all points only has a marker no label when I hit OK you should see now only markers no labels very nice for plotting uh, or, or having some kind of a documentation for someone who wants to know where the points are don't necessarily care about the descriptions uh, the elevations etc okay so uh, that makes it a little bit nice now let's do another one let's go back to the properties again and let's take the all points back to the bottom and this time I'm just gonna say you know what I wanna see the aerial points only I don't wanna see anything else well if I move the aerial points to the top and then I move the invisible and I'm not going to go to the top this time I'm going to go up one that's the second button down I'm going to move it up one so now it's going to display the aerial points and then everything from then on is invisible because it's too late it's already overridden this one and this one okay so let's do that and you should see there you go there's my aerial points and you can always see how that order is they actually physically change in your prospector over here the order changes let's do another one let's change it one more time and let's take the topo points to the top and we'll put the aerial points and this time we'll use the third button down and take it under invisible so now we're gonna see only topo and from then on everything else is gonna be invisible hit OK and everything will come back for those topo points plus all those trees and everything now you'll see that in this case and I don't know why it does this I never quite figured this one out if you look at all of these here they're still there if I do a regen they shouldn't be there because the aerial points over here are underneath of the invisible point group so if I regen uh, then of course it is displayed correctly okay so a real quick way just move these things up and down in the list according to I mean you can have a point in 17 or 18 or 25 different groups and make it displayed differently based on what you're doing just by moving those groups up and down only thing you gotta watch out for is that one little gotcha with the properties make sure that you put your invisible or your group to override these particular properties over here alright thanks for watching and have a good day